the history of rock and roll. According to Dictionary.com, rock and roll is a type of pop music originating in the 1950s as a blend of rhythm and blues and country and western. It is generally based upon the 12-bar blues and the first and third beats in each bar being heavily accented. According to Dic UrbanDictionary.com, the phenomenon which began in the 50s with the combination of rhythm and blues, country music, and gospel. It was pioneered by Chuck Berry, transformed by the Beatles, hardened by Led Zeppelin and ACDC, and through the course of the 70s evolved into the pinnacle of musical glory. Rock and roll is not just a genre of music. Beyond that, it is a philosophy, attitude, and way of life. According to most historians, rock and roll was formed in the 1950s, but in fact, some say it can be dated all the way back to the 1920s. Rock and roll was a combination of the most, um, of the most popular music genres of that time, mainstream music, country and western, and rhythm and blues. The variation in these genres are what made rock and roll so special. This music was characterized by the use of the electric guitar, giving it that special sound. Some claim that rock and roll died in 1959, but being the most influential musical era of time, rock and roll made... The birth of rock and roll took place in the 1950s with the earliest artists of rock and roll itself. As said before, it was a mixture of rhythm and blues and country and western. Some of the very popular artists of this time were Elvis Presley, Fats Domino, These artists were what made up the three different genres that created rock and roll. All of these artists were the most talented musicians of their time. Together, they created a whole new type of music that soon turned into the most inspirational era. Rock was created during the time that radio was first becoming popular and televisions were just recently invented. These technology advancements were a great help to the popularity of rock and roll since almost everyone had a radio in their house at that time and some had TVs. These artists were able to Some claim that rock and roll died in 1959, but today many will deny that in a heartbeat. After the early rock artists came many large popular artists and bands, some of which are still alive today, such as the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Kiss, and many more. Some of these bands or artists were British. During the rock and roll period, there was a huge British, British impact. These musicians influenced the lives of so many, young or old, that people began to believe that rock and roll can never... During this decade, rock music really started to take off. For the first time, rock and roll took over the pop charts completely. This decade brought a whole new set of genres and artists to the table. Genres such as psychedelic, Motown, hard rock, and heavy metal, the British Invasion, and more. Artists, These artists that were responsible for these new sounds were the Beach Boys, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Doors, the Grateful Dead, Led Zeppelin, Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, and so on. The influence of their music is what made these artists so By the 70s, everything grew larger and larger. The artists were incredibly successful and were creating full albums and now playing for full arenas and stadiums. Rock and roll took off and was now bigger than any other music genre. During this decade, heavy metal, funk rock, disco, punk rock all became more popular. With bands and artists better known as Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, Kiss, Alex Cooper, David Bowie, Elton John, Bruce Springsteen. The electric guitar is the main instrument in rock and roll music. For the first time, electric guitars were amplified and this is what gave rock and roll its creative sound. Many believe that rock and roll would not be the way it is today if it weren't for the electric guitar. Adolf Rockenbacker invented the first modern electric guitar in 1931, but the first solid body electric guitar was created by Les Paul in 1941 and soon teamed up with the Gibson Company to create the Gibson Les Paul, which debuted in 19